TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. YouTube, you see it behind me, please. Come on now. Stop doing this to me. I'm trying out here. Dang. Don't forget, man, twitch.com, man, the lit one, the usernames at the bottom of the screen. We do got merch. And we do got Patreon where we post five days per week. Sometimes more. But right now, we're watching Police Interceptors. Defiant drunk driver. Four times over the limit. Mm, you're going to jail, buddy. That's one thing I can tell you for certain. You're going to jail. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me. He stood at the gate with a kitchen knife saying he's going to stop. Hold on now. Come on. Don't start. I won't argue with that. To do this. Got another one. now. What are we doing? H. Salute for the sub, H. Like five in a row. Probably more. Let me check. Didn't even tell me. Dang, it's 22 p. First and foremost, y'all, it's Friday night and y'all here with me. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for y'all time. <laughs> it's the witching hour in Bradford. We're trying to get over to Batley. Lads from the eastern side have had a pursuit with a vehicle. They believe he's been involved in a burglary. I know we ain't seen this one. I know he just referenced the witching hour, but I, I, I went through this and I looked. A gang in Balaclavas has broken into a house, swiped car keys, yeah, and see? fled in three stolen cars. We ain't did BMW this. and two Mercedes. Yeah, this Mercedes has just been sighted Wellington Street on CCTV, please. Multiple units are racing to intercept, including Ben and Warren. This is by a member of public, saying the vehicle comes straight on towards Hetman Dwight Town Centre. So it's coming towards us now. King of the bowling alley, Ben once scored the perfect 300. He aims to strike down the burglars with similar efficiency. For some reason, when I get drunk, I'm good at bowling. But when I'm sober, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I don't know what it is. It's like when you bowl a ball and you get into that little stance with your leg behind your other leg and the leg is straight and you throw your fingers like this. I can't do that when I'm sober. Well, when I'm drunk, my body a little bit looser. Pause. And passes up. And a little help from above. Yes, yes, it's a right, right, right onto Bradford Road. Bradford Road towards Lomar. The National Police Air Service is tracking one of the next Mercs. It's on one of these stolen vehicles. The CDV in being white. So we're looking for a white Merc. Yeah. There's an unmarked car in front, and the Merc is approaching this junction. What the hell did it? Right, come past you. Three, two, one. He's just coming past you now. They have absolutely no chance of getting away. The unmarked car spins round first. Come on. Yeah, right, 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 Ben and Warren are second place in a cop car convoy. A mile ahead, units have prepped a stinger device to puncture his tyres. Yeah, it's passing through the junction, heading in the direction. Of One thing I don't like is thieves, man. Especially thieves that the type of thief that steals from another human being. Like, not an organization, but from a human being. Like, bro, these are nine to five civilians. They worked hard for their money. Like, go do something. Go th go steal from another thief. Go, like, you know what I'm saying? 
to a lit up unit at the moment, he's coming towards you now. The stinger's right across the carriageway, but the Merc swerves to the wrong side of the road and dodges its spikes. What's that? No, it's the stinger. It's the stinger side. What are you breaking for? It goes motorway and it's coming. And he's taking a left, 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 he's onto the 606. 606, 606. Are you ready with the stinger? A second stinger is primed. No, no, it's coming up. Coming off, so it's going to go off really. But the Merc's changed direction. He's come off the 606, stand by for direction. I don't care, what, man, look. This is... And it's a left, 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 left. I'm thinking about me on a motorcycle getting down. Did, did this happen to me? Parkside Road, love it. Twice. Five zero coming down. Allegedly. Oh, brilliant. The runaway's heading for quieter roads. He's going to decamp. He's got to do, hasn't he? And straight for two marked cars. Go two marked units coming towards you now, stand by. But the Merc sails through a junction and bang! Damn. It's hit by a passing car. Yeah, we've had contact, contact from a uh, member of the public. Not hard enough, though. It's like real quarter panel. It's not causing no damage. It missed the tire, didn't it? Stand by. The driver ploughs on regardless. Oh, wait a minute. Left, left, left on to Manchester Road. Hold on now, I look like they're missing a tire. Hold on. Manchester Road. He's already hit one car. Yeah, it's wrong side, wrong side. And just missed an oncoming cop by inches. Wait, is there flint? Oh, oh my God. This is a heat seeking helicopter. I'm looking at the back and I see like flames coming out, but that's like. The exhaust, just regular old exhaust. It looked crazy, though. It's a left, 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 onto Mass Street, Mass Street. Another Mass Street. Ben and Warren are closing in. She's going to be looking for somewhere to go out, innit? But the driver's on his toes. Yeah, Mark Judith, stop, stop, stop. On your left-hand side, he's going to get out there. Get out there, get out there. Yeah, we've got a mountain running, they're currently on Mars Street. We've still got him on camera, he's in the rear, rear garden of Thornton Lane. Are most houses connected like this in the UK? Like, I've rarely be seeing like independently, independent houses. We've got him on camera, he's in the rear, rear garden of Thornton Lane. Thornton Lane? <laughs> they're tantalizingly close. Is this Thornton Lane? Thornton Lane now, his garden happened, but we've got him on camera. Go, go there, please. If the driver reckons to lose them in the dark, he's oh. reckoned without the eye in the sky. Yes, yeah, he's hiding in the rear garden of Thornton Lane. It's over, buddy. You're done. Yeah, there you go. Lit up like a video game, he vaults a fence and vanishes down an alley. Near somewhere, just yards from Ben and Warren. Yeah, he's coming out towards you at the front. Uh, he's just in between the alleyway. You've got him there, right in front of you. Yes, yeah, you're done. Other units are out of their cars, and as Warren pulls up, they strike. Yeah, from impossibly one, you've got the driver there. We've got one detained. Warren and Ben rush to assist. Don't think there are any outstanding, but just stand by. Someone can just confirm we've secured this vehicle as well. Stinks, doesn't it? But as Ben makes to secure the first stolen Merc... Ben. We've got another one, we've got another one, we've got another one. <laughs> the two yeah. other stolen cars have been spotted. Hey, whatever, you ready? And one's got Ben and Warren's name on it. John, yeah. I pr if, my, if my car gets stolen, I don't even want it no more. I'm gonna go train it. I'm gonna go trade it in. 100. percent We've got one stolen car, one driver from said stolen car. That stolen car was running in convoy. Don't forget, donations are active on the stream now. <laughs> With another stolen car, which is another uh, Merc AMG. With the first Merc secure, the chopper's going after the second. 
Can you get someone needed to the helicopter, please? Ben and Warren are going after the gang's third stolen car. So now we're looking for a BMW. BMW 313 Black. 313 Black, so same car as... 330i? Oh. The burglars may have the same wheels, but they don't have Warren. Warren bulletproof vest is touching the steering wheel. Like, back up a little bit, boy. Can you breathe? He's trained to navigate empty roads like these at well over a ton. And with Ben monitoring comms, they're closing in fast on the stolen car. Just going back to the yeah, it's coming towards us. It's coming up to the top of here. Get these clowns out of my way. Headlights. Appro Get these cars out of my way. Warren, chill out, buddy. She got speed. Down. There he goes. There he goes. I'm not gonna lie, buddy was going a, a, at least a good NASCAR. Yeah, it's crashing. It's crashing. Ambulance. 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 Ambulance now, please. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's debris everywhere. Yeah, we've got contact, contact. Interceptors are after a gang of We don't need a recap. I am so oh. sorry. Now by the chopper. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. Crash, 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 crash. Ambulance. Ambulance. Ambulance now, please. They've wiped out at 90 miles an hour. Attention, please. But miraculously, driver and passenger have made a run for it. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm running into fields. Bottom of trouble. I'm running in. You so they got out of this and ran? To field, Stay where you are! Bottom of trouble in. Stay where you are! Stay where you are now! I'd be injured. Ben's already caught the driver. Drop it! Drop to the floor! Put your arms out now! Put your arms out now! Put your arms where I can see him! Who looks injured? Roll over. One got! One detained! The passenger is still at large. Where's he gone? Where is he? He went that way. Down the road. Down the road. Dribbling, one still on foot, please. Dribbling, one on foot. He still got his mask on. That's tough. The injured driver is still in a balaclava. You all right, lad? Where's it hurt? Where's it hurt? Just relax. Don't move. Internally, that, mo <laughs> that boy hurt everywhere on the inside. Don't move. Just relax. Take your help. I'm going to take that off. What's hurting? Talk to me. Talk to me. He definitely got some broken ribs. That's the face of broken ribs. Where's the pain, fella? An ambulance is en route. And that's not the only emergency oh, yeah. service so required. Chat, yeah. Guys on fire. Fire, I contacted an ambulance. You're also contacted. Bro, what did they hit? Go back. Quiet. Yeah. Thumbnail. <laughs> Guys on fire. Fire, I contacted an ambulance. You're also contacted. You can give me an update on injuries that you're earlier to see. That's insane. Where's it hurting, fella? I'm not interested in anything else. I just want to make sure you're all right. Where's your pain? My arm. Your arms? This arm? While Ben tends to the wounded. One down there on foot. Ben, honestly, you don't need to be worried about anything else because at the end of the day, Buddy is going to jail. You can go to HMB, like, you could wherever you go, Queen's Hospital in Victoria, England, but guaranteed you're going to HMP afterwards. Arms officers hunt the passenger. That's, that's insane. After surviving a smash like this, look at it all. Look at Wall. He's in no fit he state wall? to escape. And he's nicked. You got anything on you? The suspect is uninjured and bizarrely barefooted. Where's your shoes, buddy? You lost them. Not the best night to be uh, wearing that on your feet, is it? No. He's lucky he didn't lose a lot more than shoes. You run faster than yeah. themselves. They could have killed any member of public. They could have killed us if they were at that speed. But uh, they just they just don't care, do they? Just idiots. That's crazy. Ben's taking no chances with the driver, even if he is injured. Uh, cuff, cuff up there. Oh, uh, my arms are. <laughs> I, <can't... laughs> I don't care about nothing, huh? Well, you just said his arm hurt. You came over. I can't see any talk trauma, boys. Yeah, Feel anything on your legs? Just roll him over. 
No, there's no, there's no it's up to the medically trained cops to keep him stable until the ambulance arrives. I don't want to hear nothing from a medically trained. Give me the ambulance. Give me to a doctor. Yeah. Should I give him some oxygen? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. I'm just going to give you some oxygen. What's your name, buddy? Talk to us. There's no pull of blood in. He's moving his legs. He's moving his legs in like head injury. I'm going to put a collar on you, buddy. Oh, where's the ambulance, please? It's coming it's there. It's on its way. I told you. I don't want no medically trained cops. Give me the ambulance. I'm done with y'all. It's on its way, mate. All right. Well, I'm late now. It's just a matter of time before the Beamer's petrol tank blows. Yeah, that's crazy. Thankfully, the fire service has arrived to tackle the blaze. But there's still no sign of the ambulance. It's on its way, mate. All right. On its way from where? Oh. You're getting as good as ours right now. <laughs> Narnia. <laughs> While Ben and Co struggle to make the driver comfortable. Don't worry, buddy. My heart. Your heart. My heart. Yeah. It's in your wow. chest. Put in my chest. Just... Warren assesses the burnt-out car which boasts more plates than Halfords. We'll chase them on one. Look at all of these blurred outness. Y'all saving me time, appreciate y'all. Set of plates, yeah. they'll get out of way, change plates. He also reviews the crash site. Look at Groove, it's taken out of the road. Oh, we. This is where the near side of car's gone. The near side of vehicle there. And then the puncture's been caused, which has caused the Groove in here. Where he's dug into the road from Alloy. It's continued straight on. See the fence, see the wall, hit the trees. Lucky boys, very lucky boys. Yeah. Mercifully, the ambulance has arrived. One, two, three, lift. Up it. Cheers, boys. Thank you. It's mental, isn't it? It's mental. It, it just beggars belief. It beggars belief looking at that car. The cremated car is just one of three stolen by the gang. And then they put false plates on that, and then they've gone for these other two Mercedes and they've been nicked. The driver of one Mercedes was caught earlier tonight. He's just in between the alleyway, you've got him there. Imagine all of this and y'all all going to jail for four to five years each. It wasn't even worth it. Whatever amount of money you was about to get for thieving is not worth it. Right in front of you. I've been told they've got the third one as well now. Yeah, yeah. And word on the radio is that two men have now been nicked fleeing the second stolen Merc. Again, it's been abandoned, but unfortunately for them, birds been up. Uh, and Dogman's been there, so Dogman's been guided in by helicopter. And them two have both been detained. Nice tidy little package. Everybody pulls together. All three emergency services pulled together for, for one job. Yeah, we're happy with that. Right, I've heard back from hospital. He's got lung contusions, but no serious injury. <laughs> lung contusion, that's enough. Life threatening or life changing, so I've had a wait for the recovery. Uh, He's lucky then, isn't he? Very lucky. I would imagine. Oh my god, y'all ever had the wind knocked out of y'all, right? Imagine that times like five. And the pains in his chest that he's oh, feeling hit. will be from the airbag deploying as he's gone forward. A pink coloured bag there, which is the uh, driver's airbag. This this airbag here has been deployed from the roof. That's probably what saved his life, to be fair. Saving life on them, that's what we're here for. We're an emergency service. We're here to help people first. And that's that was our main concern tonight. <laughs> the gang that stole nearly 90 grand's worth of cars in one night was comprehensively taken down by the interceptors. The same night. The Merc driver, who was hit by an oncoming car and got nicked in an alleyway, was convicted of burglary, two counts of theft of a motor... Did they always give us the, um... what happened to him right away? ...vehicle, dangerous driving, having no insurance and no licence. He was sent to prison for three years and ten months. Four years. <laughs> The passenger in the crashed BMW was arrested for multiple counts of burglary and is still under investigation. The 
men arrested fleeing from the third car are also under investigation. And as for the masked driver in the 90 mile an hour smash, he made a full recovery and subsequently pleaded guilty to burglary, handling stolen goods, dangerous driving and three counts of theft. The judge sent him down for four years. Four years, told ya. I think I got the UK sentencing on lock now. Time to reflect on how lucky he is to be. Judge sent him down for four years. Time to reflect. Is the washing is the windshield wiper still working? That's the wrong element, though. I mean, it's 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 fire, not water. But you know, salute. Great ingenuity. Tom, how lucky he is to be alive. That's ridiculous how they've got out of there. That's, uh, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. And you would hope that that's a wake-up call for them. It won't be, but you hope it, you hope it would be. I'd be so mad. I thought he was going for it. Whenever they stop a car, Hi, pal. How's it going? Or attend an incident. Please move back onto the pavement. Give us some space to work. Interceptors are under scrutiny. Yeah, it's absolute bedlam for you. There's got to be 200 people in the street. They do their job in the public eye. Run the car, officer. And the public doesn't <laughs> always appreciate it. Hi, pal. They've kindly decided to go spend a few quid in shop and share their eggs with us. It's never easy. There's a lot going on whilst you're dealing with some. What do you know? If you egg a police car in the city, like the whole the whole force is gonna come out. They're gonna come out with riot. You're all going to jail. Someone's gonna go to jail. Somebody in the back of the car. You've got to look out and see who's about outside the car. I think personally, all police officers should be double crew. Double crew tonight: Pearson and Barraclough, aka the Benz. Yeah, it's just past us now. Don't indicate, don't indicate. The Benz. That's so weird. Like, I wouldn't want to partner with my same name. It, it just gets too confusing. Who are tailing a car that's flagged as uninsured. Oh, it's getting kids in it. And uninsured cars are no place for kids. Benny Boy heads straight for the suspect car to say... Hello. Hello just stay now for a second, pal. Come sit in our car, take your seat off, and break up. But the driver, who's Slovakian, is reluctant to join the Benz in the Beamer. Come, on, come with me. Come with me. Speak English, all right? Have you got anything on you you shouldn't have? No, 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 no. What's your name? Um, um, what's your real name, then? Um, what's your real name? Erm um, seems agitated. You might as well not even tell that lie after that. Why, why did you just I didn't. Right, listen. Hello. Chill, 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 chill. But once he does chill, the question's hot up. How's the car insured? I just paid the insurance. I, if you don't believe me, you can come with that. No, no, listen, listen. You, listen. Need, you, need, you need to calm down. You need to calm, down, to calm down because you're straight on defensive all the time. Your car is sure not insured. Okay. You're telling me that your car is insured. Yes, yes, Let us, sure. right, listen. Let us do the investigation. You're straight on back. Just, just chill. All right. Right. How's right. the car insured and through which company? Is um, I don't know the company name yet yeah, because uh, my brother did the insurance. He just. Have you got any proof of the insurance on an email? I have this on the email, yeah, because okay. he just now. On your phone? Yes, yes. My mum got it. Apparently, his brother took out the policy and his mum has the proof. She in the car? Ben wants to confirm the story with the brother, who's a passenger in the car. Hiya, mate. Sorry, I've stood up standing. He says you sorted the insurance out today. Yeah. yeah. Have you got the email on your phone? The email, I, I got it home. Why is it not on your phone? I done it for my uh, mum phone. OK. Their stories tally. The brother arranged the insurance and their mum has the certificate. Right, get her yeah. to send me a picture of the insurance documents. Right. We can get it sorted then, all right? All right, thank you. I hear lies. I'm detecting it. Things are getting complicated. Yeah. But this ain't my job. What's it? Is it a ghost license he's got? 
and they're about to get more so. Right, because he said he's driving on Slovakian license. Right, leave it with us. The driver doesn't have a valid license. And there's a warrant out for your arrest. Do you oh understand that? God, it's just getting worse and worse for this dude. Anybody you pull over and they got a they got a haircut and they got a slit from here all the way to back here. They're gonna be telling lies, one hundred percent. Yeah, did you know that? So what's gonna happen? You'll get arrested, you'll go down to court tomorrow morning. Oh my days, why then? Because you've got because you have because a warrant, warrant out for your arrest. <laughs> what for? What for? Why? It seems he failed to attend court on a previous charge, a mistake he won't be allowed to make twice. Bet Vessel, appreciate the, the dono. So I'm gonna have this tomorrow. So tomorrow you'll go to court. Because he's under arrest. Why? Why? Because there's a warrant for his arrest. The occupants of the car are unimpressed with this development. It's still coming with us, isn't it? Excuse me, don't spit on the floor. Well, what do you mean, why? Well, does it look, does it, is, it, is it clean? It's not really, it's dirty, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so I don't want to see that. Other members of the public don't want to see that. Did you know how and if for some reason it? I fall over... Is it illegal to spit on the floor or something? Hey, Siri. Is it illegal to spit on the floor? Okay, I found this on the web for is it illegal to spit on the floor? Check it out. Oh, wow. Apparently, it's from state to state in America. It varies. Imagine. I don't want to land in your spit, do I? It's dirty. It is, isn't it? So don't do it. The gobby passengers won't accept that their mate is bound for the nick. They no, can go, go, come on. No, he's under arrest. He can't go anywhere. He's under arrest. He's going to court. And there's worse news if they can't get the insurance certificate from Mum. So you're going to have to go to the address and get the, either the insurance or we'll take the car as well. So you take the car as well? Unless you run to the address now and get the insurance. Yeah. So unless you want to get running, do you want to run? Or are you not bothered? On your marks, get set. But this is not punch, you know what I mean? What are you no. Right, listen, what are you this, this, this is not... Now, yeah, no, 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 anyway, listen, stop, stop, you're stop, stop. stop. You're stood here arguing when you could be running. So, so you either run and get the proof of insurance. Whoa. And you let him go? No, 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 nothing to do with him. I'm about taking the car. But I mean about him. No, he's coming with us. He's going He's going nowhere apart from the car tomorrow. If they get Mum's documents, then the car won't be seized. But the driver is nicked regardless. Are you, are you from Slovakia as well? No. Where are you from? I'm from Poland. Poland. Where are you from? Slovakia. Right. So in Poland, when you're under arrest, do you go home or do you go to the police station? I go home and I'm going my cell phone call. Right, no. In England, when you're under arrest, you go to a police station. And when you're under arrest for not turning up, and there's a warrant issue for you, you go straight to car. Nah, that's facts. Bro capping. He's talking about, no, I go home, then I go to court myself. Well, you get, you're done. Your partner is done. I get, I, I, the fight for him is valiant, but don't get yourself locked up. Because you can't be trusted. Right, come. You don't need to be here. There's nothing you can do. Go. Okay. They finally get rid of the passengers. The scene has drawn a crowd. You want to do a Snapchat picture? Snapchat picture? Yeah, you, know. you want a Snapchat picture? Yeah. Oh, you want to do that picture? I'm real. I'm real. I'm real. And this crowd loves the cops. Is that a real gun or No, this is a taser, not a gun. Can I hold it? Yeah, you can't can hold it. I'm not going to try it on you, no, you're too small. Too small, your body won't handle it. How old are you? 42. 42 years old. You must be to have a nice fancy phone like that. And a Gucci hat and an earring. An old bling. Ben's trained in crowd control. Sadly, he isn't trained in the art of the floss. I can't floss. Is it like that? I don't, I'm not really good at flossing. Ben, please, please, please. I get what you're trying to do here. You're trying to be a great public figure. You're trying to be, you know, keep the kids at bay. But don't you ever do that in front of a camera. Because now I've seen it. And it's stuck here. 
And it's very disturbing to me, Ben. At least someone's told the truth tonight, Ben. Hey, okay. Are you okay. filming now? Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy, aren't you? The wanted man pleaded guilty to shoplifting and failing to surrender to police. He received a three-month curfew with an electronic tag and had to pay two hundred. See what I'm talking about right here? These little cuts. They started at the front and went to the back. That's a that's a tall tale red flag of a liar. He received a three-month curfew with an electronic tag and had to pay two hundred and ninety-five pounds in costs. A fresh court date looms to face further charges of driving without insurance. I got court April 30th. I need to show proof of insurance. God. And driving without a license. All in all, a good night's work. And bonus, the Benz learned to floss. Kind of, and made a few friends along the way. Please, those are not his friends. Those are ch children in this uh, in the street. Yeah, I made it sound weird. Police have got a bad rap around Bradford, and a lot of people just don't like us because they're told not to like us. But I like it when young kids come round because you can make a bit of an impression on them. And they're not not everyone's a bad lad, are they? Coming up. Interceptors see motorists risk their lives every day. Just come and sit back in my car, we just need to have a word with you. Okay. And one group is more vulnerable than others. He says, I don't want you walking, your brother. <laughs> Motorcyclists should take extra care on the road. But no one's told these planks who are testing Kev's patience. Around. Well, you're on an ATV. There's no way you're getting away from any cop. But now, and I will say, if you get off road, you can get shifty. Riding like this without helmets is a recipe for disaster. But even sensible bikers face big risks on the roads. It's been a constant menace. This red quad. Motorcyclists are a lot more vulnerable, so. When you come off, it's going to hurt. Kev's an advanced motorcyclist who also rides on his days off. He's well aware that bike accidents can destroy lives. Maybe, the, but the UK police force is not because they, they do tactical contact. That is insane to me still. So there's been a, a, a report. I will never sit well with me. Of a two vehicle crashing involving a car and a motorcycle. The ambulance is 20 minutes out. It isn't the rogue quad bike, but it is an alarming incident. CCTV at the scene shows a car doing a U-turn across the road as a scooter stack. I done lost a few homies like that on the on real and this on a scooter. I done lost a friend like that on a or a bike on a motorcycle. R.I.P. my homie. That's insane. And and, and U turns aren't even they're not even legal here. It was a car doing a U turn across the road as a scooter stacked straight into it. Boy, did a double front flip. Unable to stop, the riders flung from his ride. Cartwheels over the bonnet and slams to the tarmac. No helmet. It's 20 past six in the evening and it's still busy for people leaving work. And it just it makes it a lot harder for us to get through traffic. The ambulance is miles out, so Spenner drops a size nine and they swiftly arrive at an emotionally charged crash scene. It don't matter how fast the scooter was going, I and mean, the, the U-turn is illegal. It's illegal. <laughs> you should not do it. He's all right. 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 Oh, please, just let me get to me, boy. Crunched. The teenage rider is on the floor, and his mother is a wreck. U-turns are legal in the UK. 
Wow. <laughs> As relatives console her. <gasps> Nevertheless, the U turn. Okay, even if U turns are legal, they don't have the right of way. You know what I'm saying? No, there's no way that the, anybody U turning has the right of way of natural traffic. It's impossible. Would you mind just getting an ETF ambulance? I'll take them up, though. It should be too long. An off duty nurse brings the cops up to speed on the injured lad, Jack. There's two hefty cuts one uh, just about there, a deep cut, and one kind of there. And paramedics arrive to tend to his injuries. Jack, Jack, I'm just going to lift this leg up slightly. It's all right, sweetie, don't worry. Oh, it up, Jack, it up. Oh. Have it oh. He had a signal on, but still, you gotta be, you gotta look. <laughs> Having slammed into a car and lost his shoe with the force. I'm just gonna yeah, I remember a, a car at a standstill and a scooter at going 30 miles an hour is gonna look fast. <laughs> we get some pain relief in him before we even think about moving him. Jack is a very lucky boy. He is a bad injured, this lad. It's one of the best signs, of, signs that we can have is that he's shouting and talking, so it's quite vocal in the fact that he's all right. They always think worse when they come off the bikes. He's smiling now, he's away with Fed. Yeah, only two paddies to eat my lids. I got a phone call saying that he'd been knocked off his oh. bike and yeah. I instantly screamed and felt sick and just tried my best to get to him as quick as I could. Well, bro looked just like his mom. That's cr like, I'm like, they look like twins. Mum also informed the rest of the family. You frightened us to death. Including Jack's pregnant girlfriend. Oh, see, Jack, you're taking too many risks. You got a baby on the way. You got to chill. All right. All right. Who's relieved to learn he's all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Jack's wheeled to the ambulance for a routine trip to hospital. Yeah. We'll assess and let you know. While his relatives are understandably emotional. My brother got killed on a motorbike. It's just always the dangerous. And Jack lost his daddy in the same car accident. He died. She's coming down with a scenario that his dad died and then her baby's going to be fatherless. The outcome is he's going to get told off by you either way, isn't he? Yeah. He's in, he's in trouble either way. Yeah, you might as well give it up, buddy. You got a, you got a long history in your family of, of you know what I'm saying? So, you know, just be done. I'm never letting him ride a bike ever again. No, Ian, he's bad from a bike. From the sounds of it, y'all, 0-3. Respectively, I don't RIP to everybody who lost their life, but that's the odds are not in your favor. <laughs> Scooter Boy was treated for his injuries and is now on the road to recovery. Police took no further action against him or the driver of the car into which he collided. But Jack the Lad did receive a lifelong ban from riding motorcycles courtesy of Judge Girlfriend and the Court of Mum. First and foremost, let somebody hit me off my motorcycle while not giving me the right of way. You, 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 your insurance rate is going to be through the roof because I want it all. I want every penny that I can get. Every penny that I can exhaust, I want it all. You feel me? I'm going to physical therapy for three years. I want everything. He's so lucky, he's hit nothing. He's, he's even managed to slide onto the pavement on, on the lower part of it. He hadn't even hit a curbstone. A few inches up the road, his head could have hit the curb, anything. He's, he's, he's a really lucky lad. He wants to count his, uh, count his chickens now. How old are you? Well, 61. <laughs> That's the worst attempt at trying to lie ever. Drivers who try to outwit the cops are never criminal 61. masterminds. 
Right, what's your real name before I arrest oh, well, you? Yeah, They're generally more dim bulb than Don Corleone. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Dead end. Which can be a gift for the interceptors. Where's Lisa? Left his phone up front driver's seat. <laughs> what a douche. Who sometimes encounter exceptional incompetence. I will let the Sarge tell you while I go out and get this gent. Aidy and Sophie have just pulled a courser that's triggered the old copper's nose. But that vehicle smells very strongly of cannabis. Is it yours? Your car? Yeah, it is. When your car stinks so much they can smell it in the car behind, you've got problems. We're just taking all the year because as soon oh, as this Robocop, the female car, you got out of that car. What car? Your car that you've just been driving. Yeah. Yeah, just stand there. As soon as you get out of that car, just stand there. Take your hands out of your pockets. Just stand there. Yeah. The smell of cannabis right, yeah. almost knocked me over. And I, as you can tell, have got a seriously bunged up nose. Right. So have you got any cannabis on you? No. No, and is there any cannabis in that car? No. Right, even though you've told me you haven't got any on you, I'm still going to search you right. under the Misuse of Drugs Act. If you're not going to tell me you've got any on you and I find some, yeah. then I'm going to be a bit cross at Right, yeah. And... It don't matter if you cross harder than that, I might as well lie and make you do your job. Because you're going to search me anyway, ain't you? We don't want to make AD cross, do we? Have you smoked cannabis? No, you did, yeah. When? About two hours ago. Two hours ago. Because you've said you smoke cannabis, I can smell it. Yeah. I'm going to also do a roadside drugs test on you. Right, yeah. All right. While well, AD searches the driver... All right, young man. Well, Sophie pulls quiet. no punches with his passenger. This car absolutely reeks. You can smell a mile off of cannabis, OK? Have you got any cannabis on you? Yeah. You have, yeah. OK. Just two pots out of asthma. He's coughed up to carrying two pots of pot. Just stand by, let's get uh, another unit to come up to us because my colleagues with him, I'm obviously female. I'm sure you can understand. I'm going to get a bloke to search you just, just for you. The driver's less inclined to offer up anything iffy. So you say you've got nothing on you? Yeah. Nothing on you at all? Sure enough, AD's search uncovers nothing more than a stash of sweets. I won't nick your M&Ms. Some Skittles. Skittles, all right, OK. Skittles, M&Ms, call them what you will, they're not illegal. Is there anything else in the car that we need to know about? I've got a phone on you. A phone on you? Yeah. OK. And neither is a second phone, but his next admission is a different story. Just because I've sold to a few of my friends. Because drug dealing is illegal. It's what, sorry? I've sold to a few of my friends. Bro, shut up. Oh, my God, the amazing stupidity of this guy is just... Mind-boggling. Oh, you didn't even have to do any of this. <laughs> now you got intent to distribute. Like all you, not, at first you just had possession. Now you got all these other charges. Just be quiet. <laughs> yes, this criminal mastermind. And Sophie can't believe it. Did she just laugh at? You? It's what? Sorry. Some of you, my friends. <laughs> yes, this criminal mastermind really did just grass himself up for dealing. Well, was a snitch. <laughs> was snitching on himself. It's crazy. All right, just before you say anything else, OK? You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which will later align it got. And anything you do say may be given evidence. The reason I'm cautioning you is just so that you know that everything that you say can be given evidence in relation to what, what you do and don't tell me. Right. So she trying to help you, like, bro, shut up. <laughs> Ain't nobody even asked you nothing. Just be quiet. Bang on cue. Here are my colleagues, so just stand by. Unless you want to admit anything else. Right, all I need you to do is run your tongue round inside your mouth. Meanwhile, the driver has problems of his own. Lean a bit further forward, I can't. My arms out that long. After admitting he smoked weed two hours ago, he's now being drug wiped. So, have you ever been arrested before? Never. So you've never been into a police station? Well, there's a first time for everything. The young man has, as you can see, a couple of containers in there that are full of cannabis. And tonight's full of firsts. He's already told me. Um, he sells to a few of his friends. All over. Just, just everybody telling on themselves is crazy. Yeah, so I've cautioned him, but I've not locked him up. All right, but I think uh, once he's done a good search of the can, he's going to come for papers because at the end of the day, he's already sort of had it. He certainly has.
he's really talked himself into the fact that he's supplying cannabis uh, in that one sentence. Not the smartest move. At all, yeah, dummy. Do we need to do a thorough search at motor? Oh, we certainly do. Right, mate, while we're just waiting for results of this test to come back, you just sit there and keep quiet, all right? AD may have a bunged up nose. Here we go, here we go, look. But he can still sniff out Class B drugs. There's cannabis in there, but I can't get my hand in. Too much to see if I can get my hand in. Well. Do you need a girl's hand? The Sarge's gentle touch and Aidy's brute force. And... That's got cannabis in it. Bingo. Oh, no. We'll have all that. With a bonanza of cannabis and dealer bags... There's another bit down here, Sarge. Can you get to... And an admission from the passenger that he sells to his mates. All that's left is to establish whether the driver is under the influence two hours after his last smoke. I'll just see what that... These dudes... Like, it'd be like they want to get in trouble. They want, like... Yeah, man, I got poured over. I got busted for, for Class B's. But don't nobody care. As soon as the man them see the episode and you snitched on yourself, all credit. First of all, you don't get credit for this anyway. Results come back as... Oh. Cannabis can be detected in saliva for up to 30 days. Right, fella. Your drug's wipe has come back negative for some reason. Wow! <laughs> what have you been smoking on? He was smoking on thyme. The, 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 the steak seasoning. What, what are you Which is very, very good for you. Oregano. What's not so good for you is that uh, whilst I've conducted the search of your vehicle, I found some cannabis, which is a Class B drug. Yeah. All right, so you're now under arrest on suspicion of possession with the intent to supply a Class B drug. We suspect they're both out and about dealing. Uh, it's just his mate's a bit thick and he's just up and admitted to my sergeant on camera, which is, uh, you know, happy days, isn't it? <laughs> when police is talking down on you like this, it's, you should honestly be in bed. Police is talking crazy about you. The witless wonder who grassed himself up was arrested for possession with intent to supply a Class B drug, as was his mate in the driver's seat. They await their day in court. In the meantime, hopefully a night in the cells has convinced them that they're not cut out for this game. 100%. Not our normal kind of... And if that don't, the review of this episode of you telling on yourself should definitely choose another career path. Dealers, to be fair, normally people don't really talk to us. That's why my thought process is that they are just, just new to the job, shall we say. Still to come. Hang on. Life as an interceptor sometimes resembles a storybook. Another fact with kids. You what, sorry? Be it beauty and... Uh, yeah, Lisa. I mean, not Lisa. Dang, Lisa's on my mind. Huh? That's crazy. Uh, Sophie getting hollered at. Huh? In the beast. Would you kiss me? I definitely would not. The twits. Yeah, yeah, what are you doing? This is a Hugo Boss top? Don't care. You can't afford that. <laughs> No, not a Hugo Boss top. Give me your details. What are you doing? Just a Hugo Boss top? Don't care. You can't afford that. Hugo Boss? I ain't never in my life heard nobody. Hey, this Hugo Boss. You better chill out. You got to chill. But look, one more time. Give me your details. What are you doing? Just a Hugo Boss top? Don't care. You can't afford that. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> or a full-on trip through the looking glass. Pull your hands together. But the classic criminal yarn is, of course, Pinocchio. What's your date of birth? Uh, 1966. 1966? You look about 20. And when it comes to pulling the strings of a liar, Spenner is the puppet master. Ding, ding. Who 
who's just clocked a naughty driver using his mobile phone on the move. Hello, naughty Norby. You all right? Pull up down there somewhere. Pull up down there somewhere. All right, if that's all right. This guy's just come on his phone, so... What a polite way to pull somebody over, to ask nicely. I'm just going to point out that you're not allowed to use your phone whilst driving. And he's going to get a ticket. Each year, hundreds of traffic accidents are caused by drivers using mobiles. Around 30 of them are fatal. Well, to ruin his day, I think, a little bit. Interceptors come down hard on anyone caught using a phone at the wheel. Hey, buddy, take off, take off. Just jump in with us. So it's into the Beamer for a short quiz on the highway code. Are you allowed to use your mobile telephone whilst driving? No. Correct. Thanks for playing. Why are you using it then? I was an officer. You've just driven past me and you were on your mobile phone. Had it to your ear as you just drove past me. Were you ringing the emergency services? Yeah, officer. You were? You ringing 999? What is your emergency now? Maybe I'll help you. I just need to see someone in hospital. All right, that, that's not an emergency though, is it? Is it not? Even if it's a family member? Well, are you ringing the emergency services? Yeah. You're ringing 999? Yeah. Can I look at your phone because I've got it here? Because we're on floor. You're going to look at his call history? Let me turn it off now. No, the phone's dead. Well, you should use it a second ago. <laughs> you just turned it off. You're going to report if you're using your mobile telephone whilst driving, OK? Do you understand that? I might as well just take this ticket, man, before I get worse. Is he even still there, Spenner? Do you understand that? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Of course, the emergency 999 call could exempt him from a fine if it wasn't a massive whopper. Set your PIN number in so I can just see that telephone call you made. You don't have to if you don't want to. I don't want to. That's fine. All right, back then. This is a ticket for using your mobile phone while driving. Using your mobile phone is six points, and that's 200, honestly, 200 pounds. I need my... Well, you, you, sh you shouldn't use your phone while driving. Honestly, man, I wasn't... Well, if, if you weren't using it, show, show me a call register. Using your mobile phone while driving at six points, huh? I'm talking. Everybody in Florida would be licenseless. They already drive around like they like they can't drive anyway. So I mean, all Pinocchio deep. has to do is prove he didn't make or receive a call. So he opens up his call history and deletes it. So you're deleting them in front of my face. Look, You've just deleted it in front of my face. Professor Moriarty, he's not. Don't, don't treat me like I'm an idiot. Come on, mate, please. No, mate. So what's going to happen? You're going to get a fine of £200, six points on your licence, all right? Officer, please, look, man, I haven't got no calls. You've just deleted it in front of my face. Mate, look. Well, you're on camera deleting it in, in, in front of my face. I, I ain't going to sit, but please don't treat me like I'm a moron. Mate, I'm not. You are. Look, you can't no, do Shakir, this, you man. are. You, you are. Treat, treat me like I'm a total moron. And, and I'm not. Uh, buddy, it's you're done. Let's just collect your little ticket and go on about your business. So let me just fill out this little bit of paperwork for you. Officer, I wasn't using my phone. You were. I can't afford the six points at all, officer. Honest well, God. I'll tell you what, rewind five minutes yeah. and don't use your phone again then and you'll be all right. You'd have to contend with this, do you? Seems reasonable. I didn't put anyone in danger. I knew what I was doing. The road had my full 100% attention, honest to God. Apart from the fact you didn't see me parked at the side of the road, you drove past me, though, did you? Oh, man. It's, you're done. Just take the ticket. Honestly, just concentrating on the road ahead, I wouldn't be looking left and right. Why not? What happens if a child runs out from the right-hand side? What if a, a deer? An angry badger? Angry badger? Next time, don't use your phone. Simple as that, you'll be all right. See you later. And look out for angry badgers. The driver who claimed he was both not on the phone, but also on the phone to the emergency services, was reported for driving whilst using a mobile. Pinocchio didn't live happily ever after. He was fined £200 and got six points on his licence. Six points. Yikes. There's probably a lesson in there somewhere, but he's learned it the hard way.
me stood at the gate with a kitchen knife saying he's going to... Anyway, man, that's that episode. Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I'm gone.